What's that? Check this little bad boy out right here. Another new board from Maytech. This is a freaking awesome board. This is their new all-in-one. Um, and as it says here, it is a F405 with the MPU 6000 instead of the hypersensitive, what is it, STM 3250, whatever, 29, I don't remember off the top of my head. But the reason they used that hypersensitive gyro was to run 32 kilohertz. Betaflight actually runs in 8 kilohertz. So I find that 8 kilohertz and 8 kilohertz loop time with D Shot 600. Runs butter smooth for me. I don't know about you guys. But anyway, it has the Betaflight OSD and it has a barometer, right? Some people are going, what the heck? I don't need no barometer. Well, there's a barometer on there for the guys that are doing all these long range builds now with all of Trappy's gear and the crossfire and all that wonderful stuff. Um, it will help to uh, keep us under the legal, for those of you that have the legal ceiling. So you can stay under the legal height or, you know, you're a ways off and you want to make sure you're above the trees and above the ground high enough, you have a barrow. I'm also, I have an idea that um, I'm going to put this in a race build and I'm going to use that barometer for practicing racing. So when I'm cornering and stuff like that, I can keep an eye on my height level and keep my throttle control you know, because I want to keep a I want to keep a level height all the way through the gates, unless there's raised gates or whatever. But I will be able to see, um, e both in real time and at the end, my my max height at the end, whatever I choose, how high I was going. Anyway, enough about that. I think it's going to be very useful. SD card slot, PDB, 184 amps of current, five volt, two amp output. Let's get this baby out of the bag and check her out. Boom. So, it comes with a uh, cap in the package. Um, this is only a 470 UF. I prefer to use, which was what Maytech is recommending, but I prefer to use a 1000, so I probably will use a 1000 cap instead of that, but you guys can do whatever the fuck you want to do. I don't give a fuck. comes with the awesome little gummies to mount her up with, and they give you two extras um, in case you rip one, burn one with the soldering iron, whatever. Comes with this little doohickey right here that is um, not conductive. So what I usually do is put this on top of here because this is an all-in-one. So it's going to make a nice, tight little stack. And I'll stick that on top of there and put my VTX and stuff strapped to that. So that's freaking cool, huh? So here we go with the board. The board. So check this out. This is the bottom side of the board, and obviously there's our Betaflight OSD chip. There's our SD card slot. Here's our current um, resistance. And you know it's a good one when it has all the little capacitors. That's what you want to see. Um, over here, I believe this board can run iNav also, along with iBus, SBus, UBus, WeBus. Gus took the bus. Um, so I think these, I think this is for the iNav or maybe for a GPS. I'm not real familiar with what these are, but I'm sure somebody is. But I know the rest of the stuff on here. If you're using a 4-in-1, on the bottom of the board is breakouts for a 4-in-1 ESC. And the 5 volt to power the board with. Boom, yeah. Now let's flip this little gem over and looky here. This board is meant to be mounted sideways, which is cool by me because that'll work on a, on a true X build. Or on my Skadoosh frames, I prefer to mount the, uh, have the battery lead coming out of the side. And if the battery is in the back, then I got to do all that zippy tie stuff. Well, with this board, it's going to be perfect for my, um, for my purposes. Let's give a little look-see over here. We have our TXs and RXs here. This can be, this TX5 is a good resource for your Unify Pro. So you have it through the OSD. Uh, we have our LEDs and our buzzer, of course. We have our S bus here, our our um, 3.3 for the Spectrum guys here. Uh, TX4 is also open that can be used for uh, Unify. Here's the IRSSI tab that can be soft serial used for FR Sky telemetry. So you can have the OSD and the telemetry and Lewis script and all that wonderful stuff going on all at the same time. Isn't that cool? And now check this guy out, the PDB 
you know this is an all-in-one board has the rx5 pin signals in the side so if you guys are using a 32-bit um bl heli 32 esc you can get your telemetry booyah here's our current sensor obviously here's our gyro here's our f4 chip um now let's flip around to the other side and booyah we got our VBAT if we want full current and ground. Here's a five volt for the cam. <coughs> now, normally, I, I, not normally, but I always use a TB, TBS Unify HV that I run straight from the battery and then I run my camera off of that and it always gives me clean video. So I probably won't be using these for anything. But here's our cam in and VTX in so we can use the Betaflight OSD with the grounds. But again, I run all that stuff straight off the battery, so it's not catching any noise from the board, and I always have clean video. Now check this little gem out right here where it says DAC. That's your camera control right there. Boom. You just solder your little camera, uh, camera um, dongle, dangle, dingle wire right to that dangler, ding, der, ding. Maybe that D stands for dangle. But that's the camera control. That's the OSD camera control. Um, S6 can also be resourced for a camera control if you're not running six motors. So there's that. Here's another TX3 that can be used for the Unify or for, for whatever you want to resource it for. I honestly probably, I, it has, I believe it has five UARTs. Um, and I won't be using all five of those. Obviously, there's five UARTs because here's number five right here. Um, for the telemetry signal the bootloader button pushed out here on the side so that you don't have to dig around inside the build when you want to um reflash nice and freaking cool and neat right there i love that freaking maytech has been killing it killing it i've always been a big fan of maytech even back in the days when they were only making pdbs they were constantly innovating the pdbs right now they're doing it with these flight controllers and it's freaking awesome and this is the CTR flight controller. I don't even know if it's available or who has it for sale yet because Samson sent me this directly and I just got it in the mail today. So I don't even know if it's out there for sale yet. But you guys keep an eye out for this because this is going to be a badass board. And I'm going to get it in a build as soon as I can. Um, and I also know if you go to the Maytech website, of course, the full pin out, full everything explains every pin, how to CLI command, everything is right there, which makes it super simple, which also makes me a big fan of these Maytechs. And I noticed on the website that this actually has a 3.2.3 flash target out for it already for Betaflight. So there you go, guys. There's the new Maytech all-in-one board with the F405 MPU 6000. This is the CTR with a barrow, which I think is fucking awesome. All right. Peace.